Hey, how you doing? This is Mr. Clifford with ACDC Econ, Key Econ Concepts in 60 Seconds. So we're talking today about perfect competition. Perfect competition is one of the four market structures. Hopefully you already understand the, the characteristics of perfect competition. And now you need to know the two graphs that go with it. There's going to be two graphs. When you're asked to draw perfect competition, you're going to draw a market or an industry graph and an individual firm. So I'm going to show you that concept. Let me go ahead and label them first. This one over here is going to be the market graph. And the other one over here is going to be one firm inside that market. So the market is thousands of firms, you know, hundreds or thousands of firms. They're all producing whatever this is. Let's call this avocados. And over here, this is one firm, one farmer who's producing avocados. And this time, let's show you a firm making a profit. All right. Let's see if we can do it in 60 seconds. The first thing in market graph, that's easy. It's good old fashioned supply and demand, right? So supply and demand. We're going to get a price, let's say $10 for, I don't know, some, a bucket or a crate of avocados. And let's say this is uh, 100,000 uh, units, right? Now this is not gonna be 100,000 units here because it's only one firm, there's really small producers, right? There's very small production in an individual firm. But I'll tell you what, this firm takes that $10 price, right? They can't charge 11 because if they do, no one's gonna buy from them. The market price is 10. So we're gonna take this price and this is the demand. Also it's the marginal, the additional revenue from each of it, from each, so each crate of avocados is gonna be additional 10. Another one additional 10, another one additional 10, and it's a price. But you already know the marginal cost curve looks like this. It goes down and it goes up, just like that. And a firm always produces what MR hits MC. That's what we're gonna produce, and the reason why is they're gonna maximize profit. And firms always wanna maximize profit. Next question is, well, where do you draw ATC to show a profit? You draw it down here. ATC hits a minimum, goes back up, and there it is, there's your profit, done. Time for a bonus round. Let's do a calculation. I'm gonna help you out on this one. Let's say this is 10, and let's say this quantity in this situation is 10 to make it really easy. What I want you to do is this. I want you to be able to calculate the total revenue, the total cost, and how much is that profit? So during this video, I want you actually to deposit. Okay, I want you to deposit. Good, I gotta give you one more number here. Let's put that number as eight. Price is eight, ATC at 10 is eight. Good, ready and go. Deposit? Good. Hope so. Total revenue, well, we produce 10 units times $10, which was the price. That's $100 total revenue that goes to the firm. To figure out the total cost, you just go up to the ATC. That's going to give you 8. 8 times 10 is 80. The profit right there is going to be 20. Good. You can see it like that. If the average total cost at the quantity you're producing, where MR equals MC, is less than the price, you're making a profit. Now, the next thing you need to do is profit, is profit per unit. It's right there. It's right there. I see it. Now, I'm selling it for $10 a piece. The average cost for each one is 8 So obviously, the profit per unit is $2. I'm making a profit on every single uh, one of these 10 units is $2. How do I know? Well, 20 divided by 10 is 2. Or just look. It's right there. It's 2. Now, the next question is, what's going to happen in the long run. This is a short run, but we're not there yet. Until next time.